Hey. Yeah. Thank you. I love you. Love you too. Go away now. Wow, that's loud. Oh shit, that's a butt. Okay, we need to hurry. Okay. You guys can trust that a Desaparecida booktuber will come back for the reading rush. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Franny and I'm here today for my very extremely belated reading rush TBR. The Reading Rush is a readathon previously known as Booktubeathon that was created and it is still run by Ariel Bissett and Raylene. And this year it'll start on July 20th, tomorrow, and it will end on July 26th. So seven days of reading, seven days of challenges. There are seven challenges and I try to do my best to meet all the challenges without having to read seven books because we all know that's not gonna happen in a week. The first challenge is to read a book that matches the color of your birthstone. And here I went a little bit overboard because I was born on July 13th, so my birthstone is ruby, which means red, but I also looked up the birthday stones because every day of the week has a different stone birthstone and I was born on a Thursday and the stone for the Thursday is carnelian. I had never heard of this stone and it's an orange-ish kind of stone. Therefore, the book they chose for this challenge is, I, I can't say the title of this book without looking, A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor by Hank Green. This is the second book in the Carl's series. I read an absolutely remarkable thing last year and it blew my mind away. It's one of my favorite books of all times. I reread it this year when the second book, I cannot repeat the title, when the second book came out and now I'm going to read the second book and I'm so nervous. I'm so fucking scared because I love the first book and I need, I want to love the second book. I hope it won't disappoint me, I really do. And the cover of this book is absolutely perfect because it has red, it has orange, so it's perfect for this challenge. I'm gonna skip the second challenge for a second and you guys will see why in just a few minutes. The third challenge is to read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. I didn't know what to choose for this challenge, but then I watched Ariel and Raylene's TBR video and Raylene chose Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. And I had totally forgotten that I watched the movie, but I haven't read the book. And I only read uh, Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro. I read it last year and it was one of my favorite books of the year. It's one of my favorite books of all time. I loved the writing. So I'm really, really excited to read Never Let Me Go. And it's not too long. I think it's like 250 pages, maybe less, so it's perfect for the readathon. The fourth challenge is to read the first book you touch. And now I'm gonna go back to the second challenge, which was read a book that starts with the word the. So I have two books that start with the word the, and I cannot choose. One of them is a physical book, one of them I have in ebook. So what I did was I wrote the book titles multiple times on slip of papers and I put them in this mug. So I'm going to pick a slip of paper and whatever comes out, that's what I'm going to read. And in that way, I'm going to read a book that starts with the word the, and it's gonna be the first book I touch, technically. This one, <laughs> it's The Reluctant Fundamentalist by Mosan Amid. There you go, this is the book beautiful cover. I love it. I had started reading this book last year, but I never finished it and not because I wasn't loving it, but it kind of brought back memories and it wasn't in the right mind space to read this book, but now I definitely am. I really want to read this. I was loving it so much, so I cannot wait. It's not too long because it has less than 200 pages, so it's perfect for the readathon and it starts with the, it's the first book I touched technically, so Perfect. It's getting dark guys. I'm so sorry, but I'm almost done. Don't worry. Also because bats. Fifth challenge is to read a book outside of your house. And for this one, I'm gonna use, wait, A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor by Hank Green because I will be listening to the audiobook because I usually listen to audiobooks when I go running in the morning and here the lockdown has been lifted so I can go run in the morning. So I'll be reading the book outside of my house. I listened to the audiobook of the first one and I absolutely adored the narrator, Kristen Sia, if I'm not mistaken. But in the second book, there will be multiple narrators for the multiple POVs. So I don't know how that's gonna go, but again, 
I'm so excited. Hopefully it won't disappoint. The sixth challenge is to read a book in a genre that you want to read more of. And I'm realizing that I'm really loving to read memoirs. All the memoirs that I've picked so far, I really, really loved. And so I decided to go with An Age of License by Lucy Nicely. This is an illustrated uh, memoir and it's also a travelogue because it takes place in multiple cities all over Europe. And I've read Relish by Lucy Nicely previously this year, I think in April or May, and I absolutely adored it. That book has the best description of how a croissant tastes. It was like an orgasm, a foodgasm in words, and it was absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to read something else that Lucy Nicely has written and illustrated because she writes and illustrates herself. And I honestly cannot wait. I'm, I'm so excited for this one too, guys. I'm loving memoirs. The seventh and last challenge is to read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. Obviously, I could go with the Hank Green book because it's set in North America and I live in Italy, so that's in Europe. But also there's the reluctant fundamentalist that takes place in Pakistan, so that works as well. In one way or another, I'm going to read a book that takes place in another continent. It's happening. So um, this was my uh, Reading Rush TBR. I'm so excited. Every year I'm so excited for the Reading Rush. I love it so much. And I also got the Reading Rush mug from the website that Ariel and Raylene created. I cannot wait for it to be here. It's gonna be amazing. I love their merch. I love them so, so much. I'm so excited for this readathon. Um, and um, let me know in the comments if you're going to uh, join in the readathon, what books you're going to read. If you made a TBR video, link it down below in the comments so I can come and watch your video. It's too dark. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys very, very soon with another one. Warm hugs.